and welcome to my top 5 reactor plugins for Fusion. If you don't know what Reactor is, it's a community built plugin manager for Fusion and Resolve. I will include a link in the description pointing to where you can download it. Consider donating to the creators behind these as they add a lot to Fusion's toolset. So let's have a look at some of these plugins and how they can help when it comes to compositing CG renders in Fusion. First plugin we're going to look at is Cryptomat. I consider this to be one of the most useful ones that you can add to Fusion for CG renders. So I've got a, a render here. So what I've done is I've added Cryptomat AOV to the render. This way we're going to be able to pick out parts of the scene. So if it was a Cryptomat material, it would be based on material or Cryptomat object based on the objects. I think it was an object one for this render. So without further ado, let's just get the Cryptomat node and have a quick look. And let's say I want to grab this guy's eye. Let's just drop the thing. Let's just click add. And now I've got a mask for his eye. So, you know, you can do a quick color correct. So it lets you mask things out. Um, it's so much quicker than just, you know, setting up your own IDs. So it's a great time saver. Next up, we have the Split EXR Ultra. This is super handy. I love using this. I'll show you how it works. So once again, let's just grab the render and I'm just gonna right click on the node script and then split exr ultra and just click ok and you see it creates a whole bunch of loaders each loading the aovs that the the original loader had in it normally you would be loading them in a channel boolean so you would load it would be a lot of nodes basically but the point is is that you it enables you to quickly separate out your aovs if you need to rather than doing it manually so that's really handy next up is the expo glow node and the fast expo glow node they do a much nicer glow than the standard uh, glow node that you get with fusion out of the box so here's an example of the normal glow in fusion versus the exponential glow that you get from reactor if you look at this one this is the the original glow you get a bit of control and it kind of it looks all right but it doesn't look that great you know it's you can tell it's kind of it's got a very sort of old photoshop kind of look to it you know it doesn't look that great and you don't have a huge amount of control over the looks it's, it does the job i mean you can do you can do good effects with it but it, it's not quite as good as the expo glow which i'll show now so switching over to this you've got a bit more control with the radius and you you notice you've got this really nice fall off and you've got control over that as well you know it feels like it, it, that feels like a real light source so a bit more control and, and just a nicer glow overall this next script is not one you're going to be using in your comp per se but it's what i consider very very handy because if you're like me and you've come from a nuke background and you use a nuke pretty much all the time in your your day job you get used to the nuke shortcuts basically and so when you come back into Fusion, if you're doing personal work or, or whatever, it's just handy to have those shortcuts so that you kind of, it's almost seamless switch between the two. So I really like that. Finally, we have the depth defocus node, which is another handy one in Fusion because Fusion doesn't come with a very great solution for doing this. And this is quite a nice one. It's not as good as um, some of the plugins you can buy, such as Frischluft. That's a really good one. But this considering you can get it with reactor pretty good for what you get there's a little bit of setup involved in in doing this so i'll quickly go through that because it might be handy to someone who's not tried this before now as you can see there's some limitations so this is not perfect um, i think the one in, in nuke does do the job the job quite a bit better but you know you've got these kind of funny edges and it, it depends what render you're using this with as well and there's a few other things i'll just replicate what i've done here so the first thing you start with your render you want to use a luma key to get the depth information out and uh, so let's have a look at that if you jump over to luminance and change it to depth uh, then you can use the near and far planes now i've rendered this out with arnold and i've noticed with arnold the different the planes are reversed so the near plane near plane is actually the far plane so we'll go and select a building really far away and the far plane vice versa so this guy in the foreground and that's that bit done and then we want to just convert this using the channel booleans so let's throw one of these down and in this node we just want to convert all of these channels to alpha foreground so just go through those and then that's it you can see our mask there and then finally we want to just drop down a bitmap node and pipe that in 
and you can see we've got the mask here and with bitmap right node you can if you change this to luminance i think you just you can sort of play with the strength of the depth map so then when it comes to dropping down the depth defocus node you need to the the orange um input here that's the plate so or the the render so you pipe that into your render and then the green one is the depth uh pass so pipe that in there and then if you have a look you'll get your defocus scene and if we for example play around with this luminance effect you can see here how it's scaling back you know from the bitmap so that's quite a handy way of controlling it um and then you can play with the strength as well and so on so yeah, that's the last one. If you have any uh, questions about these nodes that I've shown in this tutorial or any of the other reactor nodes, just drop a comment down and uh, ask away and consider donating to some of these creators that have done these scripts in the reactor um, plugin because they're dead handy and I'm sure it would be appreciated. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.